Howdy, Pards. Mr. Holster here. Just having a little coffee in the tack room. Before I get started, I want to thank some people. I want to thank everybody that who saw my video the other day. And I had a hard time doing that video because, yeah, I'd watched the video from Justin before I made it. And one of his final videos. And it, it hit home and it was a tough. It was tough, even now thinking about it. So thank you guys for supporting that project. I really do appreciate that. It, it was a real boost to me. Number two, I want to thank my Patreons, the people that go to my Patreon account, because without my Patreon account right now, you know, things are not great, but that helps an immense amount, an immense amount. So, And, and also thank you, Patreons, for no, nobody has said a word about the lousy job I've been doing over there. Although now I got my my uh, new account set up that I can store my videos on and everything and and is totally separate from here I, I've started to work on my Patreon account and do the stuff I want to do and I'm getting there I'm slowly getting there we got our new show over there the bumping bullseyes with Mrs. Holster and my wife's not here this week her brothers decided that she needed vacation and she did I think I think this has been harder on her than me. So they took her fishing for the week because her dad always used to take him fishing. He was a big fisherman, and so they went fishing for the week. So it's just Jack and I here, and yeah, unfortunately we can't drink, so it's kind of cramped our style. Jack Jack would be Jack, frankly, would would be about at the end of his rope if he. Didn't have the ability to nip out to the dry bean and have a, a jack or two when I'm not looking. So that's what's going on here this week. We're just trying to get things squared away and straightened up. And if you notice, I got a new hat on. Well, it's probably not a new hat. I've got six hats here that are uh, anywhere from 10 to... 75 years old but they're all just like brand new in a box and ones I've had for a long time and I just never wear them and I decided normally what I do is I buy a nice resist all you know average 4x nothing great if you really want one that's half decent you really have to get a 20x but the 4x's seem to last me for like three or four years I, after I've thrown them at a cow a few times or enough I start getting a little a crease a little hole in the felt right over here from hitting hitting a cow in the butt with it or or perhaps even a horse and they start getting a little worn there and, and you finally poke through the felt and at that point well then it's time to retire them. well I did that the other day so that hat's been retired and it, you know it takes me a good two months to break the darn hat in so it fits me so we're off to trying to do that with this I decided I got six Six hats that I haven't worn, and I better get to work at wearing them, or yeah, they're gonna just be left here for somebody else to wear. And what I'm gonna do, I got, I normally take the hat and I clean it, and and uh, I'm looking for the word now. Probably a lot of you don't even know what I'm talking about here. I clean it and block the hat, and then I steam it back into shape, so the hat's entirely clean. Of course, it's all worn at this point and the sweatband looks like it's been on somebody's head but it's all cleaned up and I hang it up on the wall and leave it kind of retire it so I can look at it and I've got like four of them here now and I yeah I'm gonna sell them that's how bad it's gotten Go over to the cowboy shooting forum and I'm gonna sell them there and maybe some guys that live in the city that can't get their hats to look like they've actually been used and and you've smacked a cattle, some cow on the butt with it to get them moving. They can they can get one that that actually has been used. And, and actually, I've done that in the past. And and for seventy five bucks, people seem to be happy to get them. So, of course, the hats cost hundred and fifty bucks, two hundred bucks brand new. So, eh, yeah, why not? But I clean them all up, and so I'm going to do that. That'll bring in some revenue, and and I can buy gas to the hospital. 
and back. And thanks to Jack for letting me drive his little sports car, as he calls it, because we get 40 miles per gallon on that thing. If I didn't have that thing, I'd be up the creek and, yeah, without a paddle. So, I want to take this opportunity to thank all my patrons and, and let them know that I'm working on those videos. And we've got uh, a bumping bullseye one I'm working on right now, putting together. And we've gotten three that we've put out there. Well, we got the first one that was one we showed on here, which actually that was just a hard target range when my wife was with me. But the actual bumping bullseyes, we've done two now. And I'm editing the third. So hopefully we're going to get that at, at, at worst once every two weeks. But I'm shooting to try and get that on every one of those episodes on every week on the Patreon account. After we get some inventory there, I'm going to start maybe taking some of the old ones and put them up just on the Patreon account so non-patrons can come view them if they want. So I'm, I'm slowly getting the Patreon account where I want it, and it is slow, but I'm working on it. And I really want to thank you guys that have joined the Patreon account because it's made a huge difference. Because the, the funds I get off the Patreon account almost, not quite, but almost cover the cost of gas to go to chemo and back because it is kind of a drive and that's been a it doesn't sound like much but let me tell you that's a huge difference every yeah that I, I tell you our funds right now are tighter than rosie o'donnell's pants yeah so that lets you know how desperate times are <laughs> well there you go guys kind of an update and I'm going to make another video here in a little bit. I'm going to post it on Patreon. You might want to check it out. I got a link down below. I'm going to post it on the main page because I, I feel like I'm wasting my time posting it here. They'll just demonetize it. They definitely will this one. So I'm going to post it over there. If you feel like following the link down below, you can go see that. I'll have that up and you can watch that there. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm sorry I was a blabbering idiot the other day, but that uh, I, ha I have all I can do just to get it through another day. So, so much respect goes out to Justin for doing what he did. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. Till next time, for Mr. Holster and Jack, go out and stay safe. At 7 minutes and 45 seconds of your life, you'll never, ever, ever get back again.